Hello everyone, it is 2 o'clock in the morning, 2.07, so I'm pretty sure I am, and uh, what better way to start your morning than with a Butter Bella Song review, I almost called it a butterfly knife, also don't mind this piece of leather here, I'm saving it for later. Uh, okay, so this is my year long, or my one year review of this after having it for a year right off the bot right off the bat and bangle do not fucking buy this thing for the love of god do not buy this thing if you have like extra money to save up for like a like a actual brs rep and you have the opportunity to get it please just get one like i i got this because i had no other choice and i um I really did, like, I wanted something that resembled a replicant that wasn't a shitty Amazon clone. So I got this. And I thought, since I got a Kraken trainer, or a Kraken um, live blade from the same guy I got this knife from, and I liked it, it was actually pretty good, that I thought, hey, maybe I like the, um, his BRS rep clone. Absolutely fucking not. You would think that's what would be, you know, that was what would happen, but no. Fuck no. What fucking happened was, I got the knife in the mail, and the bushings were shit. Literal bushings were shit, and the, um, yeah, you can see it's covered in oil. Just, that's how, that's what it fucking takes to, to flip well. That's literally what it takes for it to flip well. But, I got this in the mail, and like, I opened it, and I'm like, flipping it around but it, i'm like it was stiff as shit and i'm like what why is this so stiff so i used my tool um i had my um where's it my uh phone repair tool in my pocket find it real quick it had uh it has like detachable um torque screws and all and basically the whole kit and caboodle but great bella song um Repair kit as well if you ever need something like that. Here it is. Right next to my knife. Basically like this. Um, one rubber band is missing. But yeah, basically something like this. Oh, I had this in the pocket and I like tightened it up uh, when I was walking down from my mailbox um, back at my old house. And next thing I know, or I was like tightening it up and then loosening it up, you know, the old tuning method. And I'm just like, what in the fuck is wrong with this thing? So I finally get in the house, open it up, just completely disassemble it, and I realize the whatever fucking gonk ass decided to mill in the holes for the pivots and the bushings did a complete shit job. I mean, this guy had to be on meth or something to like... Do the holes, oh my god, like, okay, I understand, I got a, I got a $40 clone, I got what I paid for, right? Like, that, that's, that, that's explanatory, but if this was, say, BRS, and I put, posted that shit on Reddit, BRS would probably not be in business, they'd probably, like, lose half of their fucking fan base, except for the, you know, Toxic fanboys, and they're like die hard. You know who you are. But, um, it, it just completely ruined it. And then I was looking at it further, like examining it, you know, like, I will admit, I had a, a bad honeymoon phase for a lot of things. Like, my Xbox One, I had a honeymoon phase for that, then I kind of got bored of it. My gaming laptop, which lets its fucking heart, three years of fucking service, still going strong. I still love it, believe me, but it, it's been through some shit, but my point is, my honeymoon, that honeymoon phase of this thing got over so fucking quick, I mean, so quick, it was just like, gone, it's like, here one minute, gone the next, as soon as I looked at the pivot holes, it was, oh god, and it is not evenly weighted, as well, like, that's not, last time I checked, um, that's not the proper 
weight balance for a BRS rep. And that could be partially due to the fact that, um, oh shit, the tip on mine is tipped. So yeah, oh, focus, goddamn you. Come on, Samsung, you can do it. Focus for me, hun. Oh, well, but yeah, you can, you can kind of see that it's tipped, right? Yeah, it, it does not have its super fucking pointy scorpion tip anymore. And yeah, that's kind of a disappointment, but that, that came like years after use. Well, okay, sorry, not years after use, months, like literal months after use at work since I EDC'd this knife for work for a while. And um, the fact of the matter is, it's just... This is this is literally like compared to my Kraken clone, this has been my beater. I've been taking care of my Kraken clone better than I have this thing. But in a sense, I have also taken good care of this one. Um more than I normally would have. Like it feels an Amazon clone, right? It feels like one of those shitty like Marcolo rip clones that I got um before, that I've reviewed before. I mean, they're not all bad, but compared to this thing, they're absolute trash. Like, if it was that, I wouldn't care. I could not give a fuck like less. I would just fucking throw this shit around, you know. Like, oops, oops, sorry, I dropped it. Oh, fuck. You know? But, all in all, it, it's just, it just depends on what I get, right? And what I got with this was not good. I'll just completely say that now it was not good. Obviously, that's, that's, that's probably my, my, my whole point here today. In this video but um enough rambling let's just go over some of the actual points of um why the fuck this thing sucks so bad so obviously um my camera won't do it justice uh since i have very poor lighting in this apartment don't mind my mess i'm i'm managing it um the scales on this they're they are fiberglass, yes, they are G10, but they're they're probably the lowest grade G10 you can ever get, if G10 even has grades. Um, on the website, um, on the AliExpress uh, page, they claimed this was grade 4 titanium for the liners. It is not grade 4. I tested it numerous times. It is not grade 4 at all. And, it, I mean, the fact that it is titanium, that did surprise me. I was actually kind of happy about that because it was my first titanium-handled knife. I've mostly been using, like, steel knives. So, the fact that, like, I picked it, I picked this knife, I'm like, god damn, this is abnormally light for a metal and G10 knife, right? Because I wasn't used to that. I was used to those completely stainless steel bench-made knockoffs from Walmart, or not Walmart, sorry, uh, from Amazon. I got Walmart in my mind, and um, yeah, it's I was just completely used to that, and I just never thought for a fact that this would be so light. But as you keep using it and it grows on you, you start to realize that for this model specifically that I got, it is completely unbalanced. I don't know what the fuck they did. I don't know like if they didn't anneal the blade correctly, they didn't heat the blade correctly. It is just, it is not good. And the tolerances on this are dog shit. Like, okay, they're decent. I will admit, they are pretty decent. That's decent tolerances. But compared to a real rep, and I'm, okay, I know it's unfair to compare it to a real rep, but I'm going to keep doing it anyways because, you know, got to hold it to some kind of standard, albeit a very, very low one. The tolerances are complete shit. Like, if I, if I were to, com like, put this side-by-side side next to an actual genuine rep, I could probably point out at least 10 flaws in tolerance and um, milling issues that I had. Oh, and don't, and by the way, don't worry, this is not very sharp, albeit hardly at all. Like, um, I haven't really taken the time to properly sharpen this thing, and I don't really have a proper sharpener, but I've just been using, like, like say, like, the bottom of a mug to sharpen it. It works, but for the most part, you know, for what it needs. Uh, for what I need it for, anyways. But, um, yeah, you can see, obviously. And that's not because I'm a shitty flipper. I'm pretty decent. 
if I'm going to give myself any kind of credit. It just doesn't connect at all. Like, I tried out one of my um, co-workers, um, BRS replicants. He actually had a um, real one. It was a Tiger rep. I was so fucking jealous. But it was a Tiger rep that I tried, and I was like, oh, my God, this is miles different. This is ages different. And that just, it like, and he like tried mine um, during work while we were on break. And I was like, dude, you're, this is, this is a rep? I'm like, no, it's not. It's like a rep clone. It's like, dude, they actually make those? I'm like, yeah, they make Apple AirPod clones. What do you expect? I'm like, well, I mean, yeah, that's fair. But he was just so blown away by, by the fact that something near looking identical could be so garbage at the end of the day a clone's a clone but and it all it all matters down it all matters down to the fine detail that's this is what it matters to it just, that's just how it goes you know it goes down to the very fine detail like the the measurements for the g10 scales the anodization for the titanium liners titanium spacers the hardware you use, by God, you use anything shittier than knife center hardware or like the actual direct manufacturer hardware. So like if I got a BRS replicant and I got BRS hardware with it, that would be perfect. Except given the fact that BRS hardware sucks, but that's a whole nother video. But you get what I'm saying, right? Anything lower than that is just a risk. And anything lower than that is a liability. For poor performance and possibly a bad cut. Now, I will give credit where credit is due. They actually did sharpen this decently out of the box. I As soon as I got it out of the box, I noticed that it wasn't just gas station sharp. So if you... Okay, in comparison, you ever guys get um, a gas station flip knife? Like from shit like your local Mapco or something. I don't know if you guys have a Mapco where you guys live. But usually a gas station at the front get um front checkout or like the front counter usually have like knives on display that you can buy like cheap fourteen dollar knives you know flippers, um, and they're like you can tell that they they have their own grade of sharpness right I call them gas station sharp, and it's just it lasts for about a week the sharpness does and then it just dulls, and one thing you don't want is a dull knife. Now, some people would argue, oh, yeah, you do want a dull knife with flipping a bell song, you know, but like there's a fine line between dull and sharp enough to cut you, but dull enough to leave a bad cut. And this is a quick tip here. Keep your knives fucking not even razor sharp. I'm calling them. um, uh, What was that one YouTuber? That, um. Uh, I don't forgot his name, but, um, okay, okay, I can't remember, T Mac, that's what his name is. Keep it T Mac sharp. And by that, I mean he sharpened his reps, his benchmades, and his, um, Alpha Beasts, all of that, like his, even his squids. If I don't know if you ever got one, um, he keeps them like hair splicing sharp, like hair splitting sharp. He could fucking shave off the skin cells of like a hair follicle with how sharp his knives were. No joke. And he flipped with that. And that's not that's not stupid by any means. Some people will be like, oh, he's just doing that to be edgy. Or like, no, that's actually perfect care of a knife. Because if this was any sharper and it cut me, like, go, like just go ahead and just slice my finger open. I'm like, oh, fuck. That's not a clean cut. And that's not going to heal faster than normal. I know I'm, I'm ranting about this, but I've... This is part of the long review, long year review, because for as lo as much as it's worth, this thing, I will admit, has lasted me a year. Sure, it has. But at the same time, I wouldn't buy this again if my life depended on it. This thing is just, no. I mean, I don't even trust this thing with my life. And, you know, then again, I take this out everywhere I go and I never leave it by my side. Just like my jacket. I never leave my jacket by my side and I always wear it. I will do a review on this in a minute. 
the bottle of oil here. I'm oiling my knife with vegetable oil because I can, and that's all I have. But I will do a review on this. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's hard to, <laughs> it's hard to get out all in one breath. But yeah, um, so TLD, TLDW, too long, didn't watch. This knife is scop. Don't buy it. But if it's your only option, save up just about $20 more, $30 more than what this thing usually goes for, about $40. And get yourself a Cracker Rack and Clone from the same company if that's your only option among like other clone options. Get the Cracker Rack and Clone. Do not get this by any means. And I've seen some, okay, I will admit, I've seen some people on Reddit say, oh shit, you can um, put new scales on it, it'll sound 10 times better, you can put new hardware on it 10 times better. The validity of that, I can't confirm, but I just, I just don't see how that would work, because from my understanding, I've watched um, Valley Tricks' videos, and shout out, by the way, I mean, I can't really do a shout out since I have 100 subscribers, but still, you know, it's there, and I've watched um, other people's videos, like, say, um, I Am Not A Real Boy, or Sky2065, um, on YouTube, which rest in peace is YouTube channel, he, but he's still making knives, thankfully. Um, NRB's review on this kind of um, knife, he did say that the tolerances are completely different um, from the original rep. But then again, his original rep when he got it was complete dog shit. Like, I don't know who the fuck put it together, but in his words, whoever sharpened it needs to be shot. I think the same thing goes for whoever made this needs to be shot. But you know what? That's just my opinion. At the end of the day, it's a clone. It's not supposed to last you. It's not supposed to be the top tier, like, god knife. If you if you have at least a $100 to $150 budget, I would invest in a company called Atropos Knife. It's a small-time business um, or small business made, ran by a Russian in my motherland. This will be the Russia, but um, he actually makes great knives and he makes custom work as well. If you request it, he's made custom spy butterfly knives um, from Team Fortress 2, which I love, by the way. Like I absolutely fell in love with um, his design on that and I might get me one soon. Um, just in a little bit of a rut right now, but you know, it happens. But yeah, um, he is definitely someone you should check out, a Dropos knife, but... So far, do I regret getting this knife? Yes. Do I regret doing what I did to this knife? Not at all. Um, I really don't know what else to go over for like problem wise. The, the sex bolts for the bottom handle, bottom of the handles are actually pretty correct as like, there's no tolerance issues for that. I, I don't know how I feel about the liners. They feel a little fake. They feel a little like rounded off to me. They don't feel solid, like solidly milled out. They feel kind of cast to me, but that that's just a hunch. And the 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 hardware is obviously shit. I'm so surprised it hasn't stripped already. This is at least a year of use and it hasn't stripped. But um I mean, you can obviously tell I took I took the um, the Zen pin um, screws out because I was fucking up the tolerance and making it to where I can't sharpen it or not sharpen it, but um, can't tighten it that much without it binding up. And if I tighten, if I like tune this like right now, like correctly, it's like like or at least um as much as i can uh so it won't, uh, before it binds up so like tune it but like tune it to where it's kind of rock solid but not binding at the same time it would still either have blade rub or bind and th okay and this right here is not a result of blade rub i could easily say this is a result of blade rub but i'd be lying to myself because i just scrubbed this on a skateboard um the grip tape of a skateboard i'll, I'll admit it because i really don't care but you can already fucking already tell tuning this thing is it, it, it you don't even bother 
you might as well just forget about it. Because the washers are kind of shit. The bushings, my god. They're, you might as well just make them out of lead pipes and be done with it. It's just all fucking hot garbage. Like, why would you get this knife? That being said, it has served me pretty faithfully. Um, from getting it in the mail to working at it, uh, using it at work, like almost daily. Um, I never once Loctited this thing, never once glued it together. I'm surprised, I'm surprised Peyotin actually followed up with my order and not Loctited any of the screws. Thank you, thank you by the way. Actually listened. But, um, I'm just, I'm just disappointed. But I mean, at the same time, what can I say? It's a clone. But, like I just said, it has definitely served me well from, like I literally just said, from buying it to using it for about four months and then it staying in a literal safe for about five months while I was homeless and um, still figuring out the logistics of moving into my new apartment. Um, it's just, I, I, I gotta say though, I am impressed. I will admit, I am very impressed with this knife, but at the same time, like I said before, is if this was BRS, I would be furious and I would demand my money back from KnifeZoid, but I know, I know at least, um, okay, I know BRS has had its ups and downs in quality control wise but in the past years from 2017 to 2019 those are their worst years for quality control white um, BRS reps were shit I mean dog shit burrs in the um then the chamfers burrs in the fucking um, chevrons the blade having blade rub up the ass I mean ask ask belly tricks he got a bad um a bad batch of, um, well, he got one of the bad batched, um, Alpha Beasts, was it? Yeah, literally, uh, um, live streamed unboxing one of his Alpha Beasts, um, the channel design and the, um, sandwich design. Both were actually pretty iffy, and those were supposed to be the gold standard knives. Like, you cannot shit on an Alpha Beast unless there's any given reason to, right? Like, you know. You're not guilty until proven, or you're guilty until you're proven innocent, or some bullshit like that. But you get what I'm saying, right? But I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect anything less from BRS if it came to me from them directly. If like, if this was a real rep and it came from them directly, I would expect a lot out of it. I mean, a lot out of it because given the fact that they're three hundred dollars, they're Okay, over $300. They take a while to make, and they're basically handmade at this point. Hardly any machining process goes into them. Well, okay, that, that that's kind of wrong. They, there is a lot of machining processes, but there's also a lot of hand-worked um, processes as well. They actually quality control them. Uh, quality control test them now, if you've ever seen one of their um, videos. But, uh, yeah... I have ranted way too long about this. My roommate is probably getting pissed at me for talking and ranting for literal 23 minutes now about this. So, yeah, there's my BRS replicant clone review. Uh, yeah. Peace. I'll do a video about the jacket next.